A lot of people are afraid to ask, but they wonder, can I get HPV from a toilet seat? And you know what? That's actually a really great question to ask because I hear it all the time. So I'm here to break it down for you today. My name is Dr. Erica and I'm a board certified family medicine physician and I specialize and focus on women's health. But before I get started, if you have an interest in any type of women's health information that you want quick access to from expert opinion, I want you to subscribe to Fem Health below. You're gonna find access to amazing articles, videos, and content by board certified physicians. So let's jump into it. What is HPV? So HPV stands for human papilloma virus. And believe it or not, there's over 200 strains. That's a ton. Thing is, a lot of them cause no symptoms at all. They can cause genital and oral warts, or the really serious kinds can cause cancers in the throat, anal, and genital regions. So what do we do to protect ourselves, right? That's the biggest thing. Well, first of all, even though HPV is incredibly common, in fact, over 80 million people will be exposed and contract the virus at some point in their lifetime. And although we don't have an absolute cure, a lot of times the body will rid itself of the virus, or if you develop warts, a physician can remove them. Oftentimes, if you develop certain cancers, similarly, the physician can treat you. But we wanna prevent this from happening in the first place, right? So even though it's common, the best secret isn't a secret at all, it's safe sex. What you need to do is protect yourself. So wearing protection during every episode of intercourse is critical. Same thing with safe sex for oral transmission. You wanna make sure that you and your partner are tested and you know that you will not transmit the virus. That's the biggest takeaway. We wanna keep you safe. So how can it spread other than from sexual content, right? Because that's where we started. Can you get it from other places, especially in public? Now, while there have been a few, very few cases reported of contracting it from an object such as a surface of a door handle or a toilet or a wet towel, these incidences are really, really rare. And what you want to keep in mind is the virus needs somewhere to live. It can't stay alive forever on a random surface. It can, however, stay alive on a person way longer. So what you want to remember is to practice really good hygiene. You know, wash your hands, especially after touching your mouth. Wash your hands after using the restroom. Try not to share utensils or toothbrushes or chapstick or anything that another person would be using who might have been exposed to the virus, especially if you don't know. And remember, most people don't show signs of the virus, so it's really hard to know if you could give it to someone else. So we want to keep everybody safe. Remember, most importantly, safe sexual practices. Be sure to talk to your health professional if you have any further questions, but the thing to keep in mind is this. Although HPV is super, super common, there are ways that you can prevent or reduce your chance of contracting the virus. So make sure you like, subscribe, and follow us for more great content here on Fem Health.